to my channel it's been so long since we've talked there's so much to update you guys about not really but kind of but not really <laughs> so um as i said it's been a while since we've kind of chatted and the last time we spoke i was supposed to be doing some testing and getting things done for the next step which was going to be my iud removal i'm so happy to say that it is finally out but it has not been easy um so after having all my testing done we scheduled my appointment to do the do an in-office removal and we attempted um it it was pretty rough um I feel like it took a good 25 minutes of her trying using different tools different things to hold my cervix open um the ultrasound machine it just was not happening guys um I really really tried to pull through it I wish I would have taken some ibuprofen beforehand I, I was not prepared at all so um, a lot of cramping happened that day, nothing too crazy, but because of that, um, we had to do like an outpatient surgery type of um, removal, which I was not looking forward to, but I knew that it needed to come out, and we wanted to ensure that the IUD was not like stuck on my uterine wall, so I of course wanted to be safe. But there's just some sort of fear that kind of comes over me when I have to be put under. Like, I had to do that multiple times while going through the endometrial cancer. So it was just not anything that I was kind of in favor of. Like, it's it, it's not the worst thing to go through. But it's also kind of scary when they start talking about death. And um, if you tend to lose so much blood, are you okay with accepting a blood transfusion? Like, that's legit shit, guys. Like, that's that's scary. Um, and I already suffer from anxiety, so you tell me death and blood transfusions, it's like, what's going on here? So, um, I went in on Tuesday, which was July 30th, and had my IUD removed. Um, from my understanding, everything went well. She, of course reported back to my family that we were able to retrieve the IUD and kind of like what to expect over the next couple of days and I, I always want to be honest with you guys only because some of you have PCOS um, some of you are kind of trying to figure out what's going on with your health as far as do you have endometrial cancer I know um, some of you guys have reached out to me as far as where you are and Upon my research, I don't find a lot of things or a lot of support, if you will, that shows like women who have PCOS, had cancer, using an IUD, um, because from what I've been told, I should only be spotting just a little bit, very lightly, and TMI, big warning right now, um, I'm not just spotting. I'm. I feel like I'm having a full-blown period and I've been so uncomfortable as far as like cramping, bloating galore. I feel like like somebody just, you know, put a balloon inside me and expanded it completely. Um, today was kind of rough just as far as like going back to work. Um, I sit at a desk all day so just the kind of, not necessarily pressure but like sitting down all day, it was just uncomfortable. Um, but you guys know how I feel about this IUD. I wish if it were up to me, I would have never, ever got it. But unfortunately, I had to. So um, it did its job. It did its purpose. And I'm so thankful. Ooh. I'm so thankful that it is out. I'm so happy that this thing is out. Um, because now I can move on with the process of trying to have a baby. So... Um, the next step, August 8th, I will go and do like a post-op um, checkup as far as what's happening with my body and the IUD. I'm really hoping that my um, <clears throat> bleeding will slow down. It kind of has already this afternoon, but it kind of tricked me yesterday. I thought the same thing. Um, of course, you guys know you cannot wear tampons, which I'm such a freak about. I cannot stand a pad sorry but it just grosses me out so bad um 
but um i thought i was good to go yesterday but unfortunately throughout the night i just kind of started back up again so i really don't know what is normal or what is not normal because i've never had an iud in i've never been in this place before where i'm cancer free PCOS vitamins like trying to be at a healthier place with my PCOS so it's it's really like not an adjustment but just more of a learning like I don't really know what's happening so I just again I like to document things for myself to know where I'm at so I can look back later on through my journey and kind of say that's what was going on but also to let you guys know like what i'm experiencing in case it's something that you might experience down the road too um like i said there's not a lot of females who are very open with things and as long as you guys are okay with me being this open i'm down for whatever if y'all have questions i've always told you guys that like i love hearing y'all's comments and things that y'all have learned along the way and just the open communication that we have so don't be afraid to ask questions um I'm an open book. I'm just more guarded because of YouTube and because of you guys. But um, like I said, August 8th, we will go. I will start Letrozole, which I'm like heart palpitations. It's just so close. Like finally what I've been waiting for. I've been cancer free since December and this is really what I've been waiting for. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, I'm, I'm just ready like I'm ready 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 um, but as I go further and as things get a little more interesting I promise to keep you guys more updated I want to make a Instagram page specifically for um, this type of content so that I can show you guys like maybe when I start the ledgers all kind of give you guys updates and just let y'all know what I'm feeling what's happening what I'm experiencing and things like that um, just because like on my personal Instagram, I post things, but I know like my work friends and things like that, they don't really want to hear about IUD removal and stuff like that. <laughs> so again, I just wanted to give y'all a brief update, let y'all know that I'm okay and I'm alive and well. And August 8th is a big day and I will keep you guys updated. I cannot wait to uh, continue this journey. Till next time.